Hey people, Skullcrusher8127 here, and today I'm going to be doing a commentary on the Crazy Lake. I'm not going to be using Richtofen for this one, instead I'm going to use Beavis as my avatar. Now, about the Crazy Lake. He is a white knight of Doorknob8774. And who is Doorknob8774? Well, he's an 11 year old brat who holds a retarded grudge against blistered blood, just because BB criticized him. Should be obvious to some of you that a little kid gets butthurt over criticism. So without further ado, let's dive in. Hello my friends, this is the Crazy Lake here. I'm going to be giving some advice to Blister Red Blood and on this stuff about Doorknob 8774. Wow, this has got to be the worst quality Spigonia video I have ever heard. So without further ado, let's begin. Blister Red Blood, I'd just like to say that you're being hypocritical and cocky to everyone you commentate on. Okay, first of all, how is he being cocky or hypocritical? Can you elaborate or show some proof? And secondly, I don't mean to be picky, but Blister Ed Blood? That has got to be the most retarded way to pronounce a name ever, even to Spigonia. First of all, what Dorna did with his Steam profile was something stupid, but it was a mistake. We all make mistakes, and so we then learn from them. Yeah, but Dorna has not learned from his mistakes. He's still being a cockass. But Blister Red Blood, you never learn from anything. Dornop did absolutely nothing to deserve this from you. Of course he did freak out over Excalibur's block, but that doesn't make him a whiny little brat. We all know he hates Excalibur for that, so probably that's why he changed his Steam profile to get his back on him. But God Blister Red Blood is just still being an asshole. Well, he has every right to, considering Dornop is too young to be on YouTube and is being a brat. He did a commentary on one of Doorknob's videos and he was saying stuff like he was pathetic at responding to people. That's because Heavy Weapons Guy 1001 was trolling Doorknob according to Blister Blood. First of all, the plush thing isn't really an argument you should use against him. I mean, if that's the only thing you would have on him. No, he has a lot more on Doorknob than that. Seriously? Do you even bother paying attention to Doorknob's videos? That he doesn't take his videos seriously as you wish he would. Then maybe he just doesn't take his videos as serious as you do. Taking videos as serious business when they really aren't is idiotic anyway. Also, if people use dolls in their videos, they most likely have a mental illness. Okay, how is this relevant to the video? And do you have any proof? I guess not. I think you should respect that. But then again, I still doubt you would take my side and continue to be a dickhead. Blister Red Blood commented on my channel saying, Excuse me, Mr. White Knight. All I did was ask of him to apologize for me, HWG1001 and Excalibur and to be nice to other people. Unfortunately, he couldn't do what I asked of him, so I see no reason as to why I should ever unblock him or even add him onto my contact list on Skype or even Steam, for that matter. As for the copyright flagging, I didn't want to do it, but unfortunately, he didn't want to give me the credit, so therefore, that was my only course of action. Well, this was justified considering Booster Blood asked Doorknob nicely to give him credit, twice, but Doorknob was still being a jackass. If you're honestly expecting me to believe that I should be nice to him after he's being such a prick of misery to everyone else, then we're just as blind as he is. Oh, and to point something out, this guy was using ad hominem attacks on Blistered Blood. Go check out his channel and look for the comments, and you'll know. Well, one thing is that he doesn't need to apologize to you, Excalibur and HWG1001, because he did nothing to them. Granted, he might be a kid, but that doesn't mean you go ahead and give orders to him and continue to be a total asshole to him. Yeah, you made Blistered Blood's argument valid. If he doesn't want to give you credit, you just gotta deal with it, like if somebody doesn't include some names in the description of the video. This has been another irrelevant point. But then you just copyright his fucking video. Of course copyright is a serious business, but you've now officially done it on a kid. Refer to the asking doorknob nicely statement. All I'm saying is that you should just go easy on him and be nicer to him. How about new? Otherwise, if we're going to continue to be a dickhead to him, then you should fuck off. This is the Crazy Link, signing out. Okay then, final thoughts. This guy is defending a person he hardly even knows. Is he white nanny just for the sake of doing so? I think so.
I think so. Well, people, this is the end of my commentary. Hope you enjoyed Beavis. This is Skullcrusher A127, and I'll see you all later.